Hey y'all. I don't know if this is going to work or not with the machine running, but this is Joe from St. Guard Acres. Uh, Saturday, February 29th. Happy leap year. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple jobs here to run. Even though it's Saturday and I'm semi-retired, here I am. Uh, so I wanted to talk about something. The, uh, the C word, the CB word. We're not allowed to talk about that. We'll say the word. It's immediate uh, demonetization. So, let me preface this by saying I am not a prepper. I don't, you know, pretend to be a prepper. And that's not what this is about. But I will say, for the prepper channels, this thing has been a bonanza for them. Uh, and it kind of makes me mad the, you know, they get tons of views and, and new subscribers and everything for lying, uh, conspiracy theories, you know, just all kinds of crap. They're the untruths. Uh, and they don't care the information they're dispelling to people because they want to try to make a few bucks. And that's why, I hope anyway, that's why it's all demonetized. Um, I don't want to do that. But this does bring up an opportunity to address a subject that doesn't get addressed very often. And it is kind of like prepping. But they're talking, you know, a 14 day quarantine period. Or a 30 day lockdown period. You know, those kind of things float around the air. I don't know about any of it. I don't support to know about any of it. Unlike these prepper channels, I don't have sources on the inside to feed me this information. You know, I don't sit in the shed all day long and read all the conspiracy theories, theories so at night I can do a video. Um, I was, I, what? I want to talk about is are you prepared for a 14-day quarantine? Do you have enough in your house right now if they ask your community to do a 14-day self-quarantine? Can you do it without having to leave your house or without having somebody have to bring you groceries and put them on your porch or something. Uh, from the research I've done, only about all oh, 10% of the people can do it. You know, we can. Uh, because I've been practicing this for a few years. But, and we're good for a month. I can go beyond a month with some of the the freeze-dried deals I've come across. Um, and I'm more out of take in our acres in case something were happening if we got the opportunity to go out there, we'd be good as well. But I think you need to look at your pantry, you know, and make sure you have 14 days worth of, you know, the staple. Uh, some beans, some rice, some soup, canned goods, you know, dry goods that you can make, you know, and not go hungry, some water. I mean, you know, if you had to do a 14 day quarantine, I don't think they'd be shutting off the water and electric, so it's not a catastrophic type event. Um, but, I, you know, you think about things like, you know, we do, we do 30 days, and 
know, you have 30 days worth of toilet paper, shampoo, uh, any medicines that you need. You know, in 30 days, stuff won't go bad. And to, uh, I buy the stuff. Or Gail buys it, you know, too. It'll be a Kroger. I have other 10, 10 deals or 5 for 5 deals, you know, on soups or whatever. We were at Kroger's the other day. I had to get my blood pressure in. Walked by and saw a hamburger helper, 10, 10 boxes for $5. Grab it. You know, when they got macaroni and cheese for 50 cents a box, grab a few boxes. Rotate them in your pantry so that you're eating the older stuff first, but it doesn't cost very much money to be ahead of the game. And, uh, you know, with the cats, we used to have the dogs, uh, but a 30-day supply of food for them. Uh, those kind of things I wish people would sit down and think about, you know. Plan out a two-week menu for your family. And at, when you go grocery shopping and you're buying things, spend an extra $15 or an extra $20 uh, and start building up that, that pantry. You know, your just your, your quarantine pantry, your lockdown pantry. Uh, you can call it that. Uh, and, and instead of buying the pizza this week, buy the extra food. So you get you're that security blanket. Just having that food in there to me is secure. And it's less I have to worry about. Because if we gotta do the quarantine, if we gotta do the lockdown, I'm sure FEMA will be bringing you groceries to your porch, but you're gonna have to give up something for it. I don't wanna give up anything. I don't want to depend on them for bringing me food. Uh, so, that's my advice to you. And, you're already starting to see a little bit of panic setting in with people. And back when we first got into digital printing, when I was with the company in Cincinnati, uh, we had this thing called just-in-time printing. I don't know if you ever heard of that. But let's say company prints catalogs. Well, they'd have to print tens of thousands of catalogs to make it economically viable. And then next year when the new catalog needed to come out, the price changes, they gotta throw all those extras they had away and buy, you know, thousands more. Well, with the advent of digital printing and high speed printing like this, all your catalogs are on a CD. You want 10 of them, call and order 10 of them. Boom. They're out for you, don't pick them up this afternoon. You gotta make a price change or change something, boom, and there it is. You don't have a warehouse full of, of flyers and catalogs and, and spec sheets. You just order them as you need them. Stores are like that. Walmart only has two or three days worth of, of, of grocery because they have constantly moving trucks around. They know that this item will last for three days. So they don't have any more sales. You know, their warehouses are centralized and, and just feeds the stores on a daily basis. Well, people have become that way. How many trips a week do you make to the grocery store? That, well, what are we going to have for dinner tonight? I'm going to stop my Kroger's on the way home. You know? you got to think more long term. you got to think past that. Quit buying groceries just for your just-in-time inventory. Because I'm telling you what, a little bit of panic sets in, somebody gets scared, and there's a run on the stores, guess what, in an hour, there's gonna be nothing left. So, rather than think you have to run out and buy $1,000 worth of groceries today, like I said, just pick up some extras. If you see something on sale, grab it. You know, stick to the side, you have that. It's a security blanket. Uh, but that's all I wanted to talk about. Like I said, I hope 
working here over this machine. If not, I'll be throwing this video away uh, and trying to do one from home. But i got to get some letters printed, and they'll, that way they can be folded and ready to mail Monday. Um, so I'll just be here for a few hours. But anyway, think about your quarantine period or your lockout period. Go through your groceries, your paper supplies, your toiletries, your hat, whatever medicine you want, you know. Put all that stuff aside. You know, have it there. You're going to be eating it anyway. You know, build up 30 days worth and then you just have your, you know, whatever you use during the week when you go grocery shopping, replace it. Uh, and that's how easy it is to build up, but it's not very expensive. Um, so, that's my advice to you. That's what this video is about. Are you ready for a 14-day quarantine? Are you ready to be in your house for 14 days? You don't have to worry about electric. You don't have to worry about water. None of that kind of crap. You know, just can you sustain yourself and your family for 14 days? We can. You can if you work at it diligently. And think about it. Plan for it. It's coming someday. If not this one, maybe the next one. Or the one after that. They're always going to be coming. You know. But... This is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm here at work. I'm out.